Recently, a leaked audio tape has emerged, as per which Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javed Zarif, has complained that Revolutionary Guard Corps call the shots, overruling many government decisions and ignoring advice. The recording of a conversation in March was between Mr. Zarif and an economist named Saeed Leilaz, who is an ally. This was not meant for publication, as the foreign minister can repeatedly be heard stating, but it is found away in the public domain. A copy was leaked to the London-based Persian news channel Iran International, which first reported on the recording and shared it with the New York Times. Mohammad Javad Zarif also said he regretted that the leak had triggered domestic infighting amid a furious reaction from conservative figures and the nation's media outlets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how and why Iran's powerful military is sabotaging the peace process with the U.S. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Iran struck the nuclear deal in 2015 with China, France, Germany, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The deal, which is formally known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, saw Iran drastically reduce its enrichment of uranium under the watch of IAEA inspectors and in return got the economic sanctions removed. The U.S., under the Trump administration, had unilaterally withdrawn from the deal, citing non-compliance and imposed stringent sanctions. Since the U.S. exit, Iran has, in response, abandoned all the deal's limits on its uranium enrichment. President Joe Biden, who took office in January, has said that he is willing to re-enter the nuclear deal. Recently, countries began negotiations in Vienna to find a way forward. The Iranian government wants JCPOA to be restored and the current Biden administration is on the same page. So technically, Iran is expected to work in a mature manner and refrain from doing anything which heightens tensions at this crucial juncture. The Iranian military is doing the opposite. Iranian fast attack boats have charged at U.S. ships in the Persian Gulf. As per reports, several armed Iranian vessels from the country's Revolutionary Guard Corps harassed two U.S. Coast Guard ships over three hours in the Persian Gulf earlier this month. The U.S. has released videos and images showing the encounter. While the disclosure came now, the incident took place on April 2nd. This is not the only time it's been done so in recent times. In this important moment, Iran's military has also tried to rub the U.S. military in the wrong way. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, has released drone footage of an American aircraft carrier in the Persian Gulf. The video was released by Iran's Taznim news agency and the Iranian state-owned Press TV news network. The timing is important since it coincides with crucial talks that are underway on the Iran nuclear deal in Vienna. The video, purportedly shot by onboard cameras of an armed UAV undergoing flight tests, shows a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier operating in the Persian Gulf. Through the leaked audio, Mr. Zarif confirms what many have long speculated that his role as the representative of the Islamic Republic on the world stage is severely constrained. 
Decisions were dictated by the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and Revolutionary Guard Corps. A strong civilian leadership and peaceful environment is a threat to the military. Iran's military commanders would like tension brewing since it will keep them in the limelight, and the armed forces will also get a disproportionate portion from the country's budget. There is also a score to settle with the U.S. On the 3rd of January 2020, the U.S. assassinated Iran's beloved and very influential general Qasem Soleimani. From 1998 until his death in 2020, he was the commander of the Quds Force, an IRGC division primarily responsible for extraterritorial and clandestine military operations. The precision strike by the American MQ-9 Reaper drone took out Soleimani, along with several officials from Iraqi militias backed by Tehran. Additionally, there's also a Russian angle to it. Mr. Zarif said Russia did not want the agreement to work out and put all its weight behind creating obstacles because it was not in Moscow's interest for Iran to normalize relations with the West. Mr. Zarif said General Soleimani traveled to Russia to demolish our achievement that is the nuclear deal. Leaked audio from Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has raised a political storm amid questions about who was behind its release at this key juncture for Iran and the region. Zarif complains in the audio recording clearly indicating that several diplomatic moves were compromised because of the IRGC's intervention. We paid for the military field more than the military paid for us. He said Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, supreme leader of Iran, had recently forcefully rebuked him straying from the official line when he said Iran was willing to work with the United States to choreograph steps toward returning to a deal. Mr. Khamenei seems to be on the side of IRGC. As evident from the disclosures, there are multiple aspects and several forces are present that don't want things to return to normal when it comes to the U.S. and Iran relationship. In this scenario, the Biden administration needs to be extra vigilant as it's clear that there are multiple power circles in Iran and not all are looking for peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.